All right, so this is stable diffusion. This is an AI? Yeah, this is this stable is diffusion. The, this is the AI? This is one of the AIs. <laughs> and what's this one do? This is actually control net bolted on top of stable diffusion. So if you have, uh, in this case, the Nike Swish, uh, it's going to control the stable diffusion to generate a uh, edge map right here. So you can get, this is how you get the, uh, the images with certain patterns built into them. So have you seen the TikTok filters with people like yeah. dancing like a, they, they look like a... a I totally do those thing. videos. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. This is how it's built. Okay. So the, it does the, like, the edging around it and then it can do things around it. All, it. So this one does edging, but then you can do it with a normal map. You can do it with a, 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 a pose map. There's all sorts of different ways of doing it. Do you always have to feed an image in or can you also do text imaging? This is a text image. So this is a human baby lobster but we can do it with this image or this various other images. Okay. Uh, and I can if you don't feed it an image, are you able to just generate something? It's gonna see what happens with, with human baby lobster without an image fed into it. Uh, this one's still got the Nike Swish. I haven't swapped it over. That is remarkably creepy for some of these. Yeah. This one has improved drastically since we did this last year. Mm -hmm. We had latent diffusion. And if you asked it to generate an image like this, it would generate like outer nightmare fuel. Uh, I think I have some of the nightmare fuel on this computer, but it was just Even like the most disgusting tentacle monster you've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Some of these are still like, they're really good. I like but the ribs. Kind of nuts at the same time. So, as a curiosity, the other item on the scav hunt list is crash an AI. Yeah, we can. How do you crash an AI? Uh, this particular one I crash usually by going uh, too big. So, this model was trained to do uh, 512 by 512. So you're making the image way too big for it to process and it will crash. Oh, well this won't crash, uh, but I want to turn off the control net stuff. And you're expecting this one to crash up? No, this won't crash, but the model is going to start generating some really weird stuff. Um, but what happened is I pushed it up, now it's consuming 30, nearly 36 gigs, 36 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, I have an A6000, so I have nearly 50 gigs of VRAM. Um, but normally this would crash out just out of memory. Okay. And if I pushed these numbers up a little bit higher, I would have crashed it without a memory. But what happens now is it's going to take 10 minutes to generate. But usually when you push it this high, you get a result. So it doesn't crash crash. But because I've pushed the, Im the image range so high, it doesn't generate a sensible image anymore. So if you want a horse with eight legs, and you want to guarantee a horse with eight legs, you push the, the uh, image resolution too high. Uh, and then it will generate horses with eight legs and all sorts of fun things that you don't get when you generate normal images on uh, stable on Hugging Face or Open Dali 2. Because they want you to get good images that are usable, and I'm trying to apparently push an image that's through this thing that is just going to break it, the system. And what causes it? Well, okay, maybe it's not a crash, but what causes it to go goofy? It's that it runs out of memory, so in an attempt to save memory, it's like offloading, or what's happening? The model was trained to generate 512 by 512. So in this case, the, uh, the model was trained to generate 256 by 256 images, and then up to scale that to 512 by 512. And the upscaling is literally like CSI Enhance. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, just a CSI Enhance. I feel like every time I use CSI Enhance, I do have to, in a deep voice, go, Enhance. Yeah, this is it, this parameter right here is saying how we're going to do enhance 30 times. Um, but it does the upscaling. Uh, but what it was trained to do is has that field of view. And so suddenly you've given it this field of view. And so it's going to make the same, it just tiles that oh, process okay. over and over again. So it's going to try to generate a force here. And then it's going to go over here and try to generate a horse. And they overlap, so you, don't, you get a horse with, so the horses meld together. Is this one of the reasons why some of the early things with stable diffusion made people look so weird, or is that a separate problem? Uh, I don't actually know myself, but one of the um, creators are, is, are, is around. Uh, I don't think she's here right now, but like that particular thing, I think, was a um, basically that story of like I'm going to generate one set of finger and it knows how to drain a finger, and then it generates another finger, and then it just keeps going. And it just accidentally makes six fingers because it knows how to generate small patches, but it's got the same thing. You're, I think you're right, 
but I'm not sure. Okay. Because I do uh, ML security with malware models and uh, spam so, and all sorts of other weird things. So let's answer the question for Scav Hunt, which is how do you crash AI? Uh, well, in this case, it's uh, if you want to crash stable diffusion, you can allocate way too much RAM. Okay. Most of the time, I crash AI is it's out of uh, out of memory. Out of memory. Um, with a, a, tech, a large language model, the number of tokens. It's the number that of is, tokens. That the number of tokens, uh, is, the amount of memory you, you need, is scales with the square of the number of tokens. And that is bad. So is that what happens when you get filled too many tokens? It loses the original con. It does one of two things. Either a, it loses the original context, and this is one of the ways a lot of the jailbreaks work, right? Where yeah. it, it fills up the context, it forgets around, around its original like security parameters, and now it's doing things it's really not supposed to do. Yeah. Like the invention of like a lot of the jailbreaks, where make you can now like all of a sudden like recipes for drinking bleach and things like that, where it's like saying things you're definitely not supposed to do as yeah. recipes. You either have the option of losing context or- You start it, running out of memory. You run out of memory break. and it yeah. officially crashes the process. Yeah, but they, uh, they, they, they control the number of tokens. That's why the Anthropic was so excited about beginning to 10,000 tokens. Uh, they had came up with a new way of doing it to like drastically expand the amount of memory, they, the, the amount of tokens without messing with the memory too much. Okay. Um, so with this then, th first, thank you for teaching me how to crash AI. I have that now, in my, that feather in my cap. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And as always, hack on. Uh, that is super hot right now. And if it doesn't crash, it might catch fire.